What's going on everyone? King's manager of social media, Jonathan Bradley here, and I am joined today by none other than Trey Lyles, AKA Trey Mamba. Trey, what's going on, man? How are Not you? Not much, good, man. Good, 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 good. Can't complain. Awesome, well, we're certainly happy to have you. Appreciate you taking the time today. We're gonna hop right into it so we don't take too much of your time. Cool. Cool. So, talk to us a little bit about what your experience has been like here in Sacramento. You know, after arriving midway through last season, and now you've been able to log a full off season in training camp with the Kings. Uh, it's been great, you know. Um, coming in, I would pretty much had no idea what I was getting myself into, but uh, you know, it's a very homey situation. Um, atmosphere is great. The facilities are awesome. Um, the city is great. You know, easy to get around. Weather is, you know, California weather, so you can't can't get me mad at that. Um, it's it's been a great, you know, overall experience so far for me. Nice. So last season, you logged the. Uh, most amount of games that you've played since your rookie season, and you had career highs in points and rebounds. How do you build upon that success this season? Uh, just continuing to go out there and, and playing my game, playing my role, uh, fitting in where the coaches want me to, and um, just playing hard and just trying to give my all and uh, you know help the team win and continue to hopefully get those minutes and those opportunities and, and you know be able to execute and, and show why I'm out there. Nice. And have the coaches talked to you at all about what your role could be coming up this season? Uh, they want me to shoot a lot of threes, so <laughs> you see a lot of threes this year, um, I think from everybody in general and, and not just me in particular. So just doing that and, of course, playing hard and, and being one of the older guys on the team, being vocal and, and trying to be a leader. Talk to us a little bit about the competition that you've seen so far this training camp and preseason, and how does it compare to your last seven seasons in the league? Uh, it's been great. You know, like you said, there's 20 guys, so you know there's an five, four or five guys at each position. So everybody's competing with one another, and it's good for the team because, you know, when you're competing against yourself, it makes it easier to compete against other people. So um, you know, it's just a good thing for everybody. I think um, you know it's making us dig deep and, and try to get to another level of um, you know, competitiveness that's inside of us when we have all these guys we're going against. And, you know, other seven years, it, I've never, I don't think I've ever been a part of a training camp that's had this many guys. So, you know, in different areas, you know, there, there's, I'm not going to say it's been a drop off, but not as competitive. But, you know, I think this is good for everybody. Yeah. And is there anything in particular about a Mike Brown training camp or, you know, preseason so far that sticks out to you? Um, he's, he's very, you know, uh, vocal. Um, he, he wants us to do the right things. He, you know, he's helpful and he's correcting us when we're wrong and he's doing it in a building up way. You know, uh, he's very positive in, in everything that he's given to us so far. So it's, it's very nice to be a part of something like that. Do you think guys have responded well to that type of coach? Yeah, for sure. You know, it, it's easier to respond to somebody that's giving you positive, you know, criticism rather than negative. So I think a lot of guys appreciate that and, and are showing on the court, you know, that, that they're responding to it well. Nice. And, you know, Kings fans got to see you play half of last season. But for you personally, how do you think your skill set can help this team take the next step? Um, just kind of being like a, a relief guy, you know, uh, somebody that, you know, stays even keel for the team, doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low, and, and just somebody that can be relied on and is going to go out there and do what I have to do. I'm not trying to do too much, not trying to showboat, but, uh, you know, be a team guy, uh, build each other, build, build all the guys up, um, including myself, and just, you know, try to be a leader and stuff like that. Awesome. So just, you know, focusing or shifting the focus to off the court a little bit, what are some things that you like to do to help take your mind off of basketball? Man, uh, I'm a Call of Duty guy, so I play Call of Duty. Um, I like to watch movies. I like to listen to new music. I like to, you know, go on walks and stuff like that. And kind of just, I like to cook. So I'm in the kitchen all the time at home and stuff like that. So I try to find different things and try to research and find videos of things that I can do differently to yeah. kind of occupy my time. So I'm kind of like all over the place, I guess you could say. Nice, what's your favorite thing to cook? Uh, I like to cook pasta. It's pretty, a lot of people say it's easy, but I like to put do different things and, and try different things so that, yeah. Has Domas tried your pasta yet? No, nah, no. Nah, I haven't cooked for anybody on the team. I don't know if I would do that yet. <laughs> but, uh, um, no, nah, I, I like it. So I, well, when I cook it, I think it's good. That's so, all that matters, yeah, really. That's yeah. all that really matters. I, I hear that he's a big, you know, Italian food and pasta yeah. guy. So I'm sure if you pass his test, you know, right, that'll, yeah, yeah. that'll really Maybe show one day you. I'll get there. And, you know, the last time we spoke, I believe that you told me that you've been using a scooter to commute around yeah, downtown yeah, yeah, yeah. Sac. How did that come about? Um, really, just one day I was like, huh, it's not that far. I'm going to just scooter there. So <laughs> yeah. it takes me five minutes. So I do that every now and then. And the last little while since camp started, I haven't done it as much. I've been a little bit more tired. But no, it's nice. It's easy to get around the city. And, and it's pretty simple. So. And we heard that a few of your assistant coaches are also big scooter riders. Yeah. Have you talked to them about cruising around the city sometime? I, I haven't. You know, I, I think they live a little further out than I do. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, I'm sure we'll bump into one another out there For one sure. day. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, great. So in honor of that, I want to play a quick game of this or that. Okay. Uh, bikes or rollerblades? Bikes. Movies or music? <sighs> music. Delivery or dine-in? Delivery. Delivery? You yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, delivery. Yeah. Game winning three or game winning defensive stop? Uh, game winning three. Game winning three? Sure. Yeah. Signature shoe or MVP award? I'm going to go. That's tough. I'm going to go MVP award. MVP? Yeah. Why go MVP? Uh, I just think that, that that lasts forever. You know, that you're one out of 450 that wins that, you know, and. Yeah, I just think, you know, you're etched in history forever, yeah, so. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So lastly, you know, reflecting on the road that you took to get where you are today, what's been the key to achieving and maintaining your NBA dream? Hard work, staying after it, um, being focused. Um, you know, you go through, well, I'm, personally, I've went through, you know, bad times in my career where I'm not playing at all. Went through good times when I'm playing a lot. So just trying to stay even keeled, um, stay the course, um, and stay focused on the goal. And you know, uh, yeah, hard work and and dedicating myself to it. So, yeah. That's perfect. Well, yeah. we'll end it on that note. Okay. Trey, we certainly appreciate you yes, sir, taking appreciate the time today. I'm you. sure the fans will appreciate it as yeah. well. Uh, for Trey Lyles, I'm Jonathan Bradley signing out. Go Kings. Go Kings. <laughs>